Eiffel. Blond, blond, blond. This is Coogan Cassius for iFilm London. With me, I've got You're Frank. super middleweight boxer, Frank Bullioni. How are you, Frank? Yeah, not too bad. Thank you, Coogan. So, uh, are these the new t-shirts and new team Bullioni t-shirts? That's it. Prize, prize scaffolding sponsored. New t-shirts. So, you see about 300 of them tomorrow night yeah. on the balcony. Have they had to buy them or have you given them? No, they've get, uh, kindly enough, prize scaffolding has given them out for this one. But um, they'll be for sale after that. So, if you're lucky enough to come to this fight, you're getting for free. But after that, you're going to have to pay for them. Um, if you keep going the way you are, everyone's just obviously going to be expecting these quick stoppages. So, what are you expecting from tomorrow's fight? No, I've, I've looked at him. He's um, he's a durable opponent. He's only been stopped once or twice out of about 23 outings. So, he must be quite strong. Um, he's a weight above me as well. So, he's going to be able to take some punishment. But, um, no, my spine's gone really well. Training camp's been perfect this time. So, I'm really pleased with that, me and Mark. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to go out there, take my time, be nice and relaxed. But um, again, if the shots come, then I'll, uh, I'll be finishing them up. How important is that fan base to you? Obviously, you know, I've been at all your fights and that at uh, Royal Albert Hall where you had three or four hundred people doing a pause and I've never seen anything like that in my life. So how important is that to you and that motivates you to go and deliver what you need to do? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. You can't really sort of, uh, you can't describe it. Coming out to all that singing and cheering, it, d it definitely lifts you up. Um, but hopefully the uh, the Yule Call balconies support it because three or four hundred doing a puzzle and we don't want to bring the roof down literally. Um, obviously another super middleweight fought of the weekend, Carl Froch, did you manage to watch it? Yeah, I see that performance, yeah, superb. So is these the sort of nights that you aspire to have in the coming years? Obviously sold out at Nottingham the other day in front of his home fans. You'd be wanting to do that in Enfield, wouldn't you? Oh, well, you got you got to look at that sort of thing and dream of doing that yourself, so that's what we're in the game for. To, uh, to get to that sort of level and do them sort of performances, definitely. I don't know where in Enfield that would hold 10,000, can you tell me? Um, I'm sure we'd do London somewhere. London's got enough uh, good venues. Could be Emirates or White Hart Lane. Maybe Chelsea, though. <laughs> 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 Emirates, no, nah, not so much. I'm sure you wouldn't turn down 60,000 people cheering you on at Emirates. No, nah, listen, any, any London stadium is, uh, is absolutely a dream come true, but something in the future that'll be... Uh, See if it comes, it comes. But um, concentrating on the next fight, and that's that's the one in hand. What's the plan for you now? Are you looking to sort of maybe get yourself um, in contention for a southern area? Um, to be honest with you, like I'm just gonna keep doing the rounds. Um, they just keep moving me up as and as and when they see fit. And um, if a title's there vacant or someone's got it and they think it's the right fight for me, then so be it. I'll take it. But um, at the moment, I'm just just there for the improvement and for the learning. Have you got a nickname yet? Um, there's a few nicknames floating around, but we haven't sort of uh, decided on it yet. But we'll wait and see. Can't reveal to us any of these nicknames. Nah, it's all hush hush at the moment. So, but maybe in the future. Make sure you tell I Film London first. Not even Box Nation or none of these channels. I Film London. You I make sure you tell them on exclusive rights. Yeah, maybe. All right. <laughs> that ain't worth the paper it's written on. Right, Frank Bellani. Thank you very much. For talk to I Film London, and we'll be there at your call tomorrow, live on Box Nation. And uh, yeah, we'll look forward to seeing what you've got. Cheers, Coogan. We've got one of these T-shirts for you as well. Double XL, mate. All right. Make it free XL. <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas six months ago. <laughs> no, no problem. Get in amongst us. Cheers, All right. Coogan. Thank you very much. <laughs>